Hi besties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing fabulous today. So happy to have you all here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to do a Timu haul. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm, I'm going to tell you, I, I think I've had this stuff for quite a while. So I'm going to tell you the date on the bag because I just found this bag. This package was from February 21st. Yeah, February 21st. It's been like hanging out since February 21st. And I put like all my Timu stuff kind of like downstairs in the, like where I film, but like I didn't put my bags in date order. So I just grabbed a bag when I would do a haul and I'm like, this one's been sitting here like a while. And I looked at the date and I'm like, February 21st. Oh my gosh. So let's just get into this and see what kind of bargains I was finding in February of, <laughs> February of this year, huh? Let's check it out. Okay, why did I buy this? I don't know. It's like a thank you card. It was 51 cents. I think I was buying these because I was like, put them in friend mail and stuff. But with that being said, I, I have a little, see this little mark inside here? There's like a mark on the card. It's on the card. It's actually physically on the card. Wait, is it? It is. So I paid 51 cents for it, but there's like some kind of freaking blurb on it and Jen like 51 cents for this why don't just go to Dollar Tree Jen just go to Dollar Tree but like see right here there's like a a mark right there on the dang thing so I don't know this was kind of like a waste of 51 cents I guess I, I don't know yeah I mean really yeah really kind of a waste of 51 cents if the mark wouldn't have been on there then you know okay maybe but 51 cents for a card that's like not not really nothing and yeah anyway okay next up is this journal this was 709 you know me and my journals and my pens and my pencils and I love pens pencils journals all the things um obsessed obsessed with notebooks this one was seven bucks though um it is hardback it's a hardback notebook I love the front of it it's got like roses and like this newspaper kind of like old school look and then I also like the inside because there's a couple different, there's all kinds of different, like, paper in here. Like, let me show you. I'm just going to kind of, like, flip through it. Hopefully you can see it. But, like, there's all kinds of different paper. Different colors. Some's lined. It's usually got, like, see how it's, like, all these, like, cool papers? I absolutely love that. This would be great as a great base for a junk journal just because of the papers in here. I mean, they're beautiful. This is the first page in here. Is this? Uh, this is a great this is a great journal for 7 bucks. Um I just think it's beautiful. It's got all, all these like different pages with all this stuff on it. It just looks really cool, really antique. There's some that has like grid on it. Um great base for a junk journal if you don't want to completely make it you know I mean it wouldn't technically be a junk journal then but if you wanted to like maybe you're just starting out in journaling or something like that so yeah seven dollars for that yeah it's a little on the high side but it's a really nice hardback <laughs> I don't know what the <laughs> that means production of sound I okay but I just think it's really pretty I really like the roses and I love the paper I mean look at the back page in this thing it's just really pretty I love it there's just so much to, like, look at, even if you're just using this for notes or for a diary of some sort. Really, really, really pretty. So I'm impressed with that for seven bucks. I really like that. Okay, next up is a set of nails. Uh, these were 98 cents. Really, really pretty pink nails with some florals on them. Really like those. Uh, very pretty for spring and summer. I will definitely be using those and they always come with it's always 24 pieces and then they usually come with the glue tabs which I don't use and then a nail file and that's it yeah I just use regular nail glue from wherever I'm not very picky with my nail glue okay I've bought these before these are the toothpaste uh, tablets and they're $2.98 I put these in my purse or if you go away or you go camping or maybe you just want to keep them in your purse like you go out to dinner but you can't brush your teeth although you're supposed to brush your teeth after this but I just kind of do use it as like an oral cleansing aid I guess you could say but they're these little tablets look like this 
Glory Smell Toothpaste Tablets. You get 30 tablets in this little container. Easy to carry. They foam up in your mouth. So you put one in your mouth. It starts to foam. You chew it. It cleans your mouth. Removes. Supposedly removes like odor, stains, that kind of thing. Um, once it foams, you're supposed to then brush it and use twice a day. So I don't know if you could use these like instead of your regular toothpaste. I kind of like to use them as like mouthwash. I'll take them to work, put them in my purse. Um, and then after I eat, I usually, you know, use one and I don't know, just so I don't have to like brush my teeth at work. I don't know. Maybe I'm, I'm kind of weird about brushing my teeth at work. Okay. I got this for a dollar 48. It's a cross bracelet. I think I bought something very, very similar to this. This is very, very, very dainty. It's, uh, I think it came in different colors because this is the color pink crystal so it's got like a gold heart and then it's got these it's on this crystal band i really like it it's very very dainty though and it does it fits my wrist really nice so it looks like that really cute to like layer but that's what it looks like on it's so hard to show like how do you show a bracelet like that <laughs> there you go but yeah dollar 48 for that bracelet would be a really cute gift uh, okay, then I got this belt. This was $1.98. Sorry, the cats are running around in here. I'm trying to see what they're doing so they're not hurting each other. So it's just a big, long belt. It was... doesn't say if it, there's a size on this, but it was black. I love skinny belts, and it looks pretty big, so hopefully it fits me. But the front of it just looks like this in the front. It's just like a little buckle right there. I like to use these to cinch in right below the, like a, a high waist to make almost like a baby doll top out of certain tops. I think it's flattering on me, so that's what I like to do with these. Or if I have a cardigan on and like a really flowy tank top, I'll put this around the tank top around my waist. It kind of like, you know, it like accentuates your waist. It looks really nice. So yeah, $1.99 for that. And then I got this little sign. I thought it was really cute. Very farmhouse, very country. It was $7.55. Comes in this bubble wrap. It's made out of wood. It's got a, you know, wood frame. There's a hanger in the back, and it just says, Today is a good day for a good day. That's nice. I like that. Today is a good day for a good day. I thought it was really cute. Looks very fresh. Very farmhousey. Has a little bit of greenery on it. I like the stenciling. So, yeah. I think I might put that, I think I'm putting this in my bathroom. I have some other pictures in there. No, because I don't think that'd be a good bathroom picture. Where would you guys hang this? Like, what room would you hang this in? That, or I might take it to my office at work. That could be, that could be another idea. That would be a nice sign to hang at work. I like that. Okay, next up are some stamps. Um, so these are bee stamps. You know me and my bees. I love bee anything. Uh, they were $1.79. They're very kind of Tim Holtz-ish. Um, let me see if I can get them out of here. They are the, you know, plastic stamps. Well, it's actually one big stamp. <laughs> but you could cut these, you know. You could cut them and make it into several different stamps. Wow, it's really hard to get off. So I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna get it off. But there's like a B right here. It's got some numbers. It's got... A key, like look up here, there's like a key and a ruler and, you know, just kind of like French country looking bee kind of things. But what you can do is like cut, cut around these to make them like several different stamps. This is actually just one big honkin' stamp. So, but yeah, that's what it looks like. It's really pretty. I really like that. But I would cut this into several different stamps is what I would do. That's what I would do, but... You know, that way you don't have to use, like, the whole big piece. But that was $1.79. I don't think that's too bad for these. Also, a tip with your stamps, and I'm sure if you're a crafter or a stamper, you already know this. But if you get a brand new stamp, take a, like, sandpaper, like, a real fine grit sandpaper and rub it over the stamp side to season it. I call it seasoning the stamp. You do that before you use the stamp, and the, and the um the stamp will come out so much more better when you do that. Is that even a word? Like, is more better even a saying? I don't know. It'll come out looking so much more defined when you do that before you use the stamps. So yeah, that's just a little tip. That was a dollar ninety nine. I think that's what I said. Is that what I said? Dollar seventy nine. Sorry, dollar seventy nine. 
Okay, another bracelet. This was $1.39. Um, it's the 8mm Pink Zebra Stone Bracelet. I love these. I love these bracelets. I see Jessica, um, Simply Jessica Marie, wearing them a lot, and I think they're gorge. Ooh, this one's definitely real because I can feel it. It's, like, super cold to the touch. Look how pretty it is. Look how pretty. Oh, I love that. Love it. There it is with my cross crystal bracelet. How pretty is that? Love it. Wow, that's excellent. For $1.39, I love it. Okay, I've, I've showed you guys these before. And I think I'm going to take this one to work with me tomorrow because I always forget to take these in to work with me. But I bought these little cards for the people at work. Now, this one particularly was $0.27. Cents. Um, let me see if I can... Oh, it doesn't want to stick on there. Hold on. Let me pull the sticker off. It's Anyway, let me show it to you first. It says, you're ducking great. And then it says, I know it, you know it. The duck has your back whenever you need to pick me up. You stick the little duck to the front of it so it, like, sticks. There, it's like... A, it's got a little duck. But there's a little glue tab right back there and you just stick it on. But I thought this was really be cute to, like, lay on somebody's desk. You know, just a little pick-me-up for the day. So, yeah, but this was only 27 cents. And I bought several of these. There's probably more in this bag. And then I bought several before. You could even just leave these on people's cars. Like a little, just a little pick-me-up, you know. Okay, next is this. It's like a little magic eraser. It's like a little set of these two little magic erasers. They were 34 cents for the double pack. You can see they're not very big, but they'll do. 34 cents for those. That's some old school Timu prices right there. Okay, next is a uh, foundation. We know how much luck I have with foundations on Timu. But one of my subscribers said to get this. It was $5.39, and it's supposed to be like a dupe for, um, oh gosh, I can't think of the name of it. I'm having a menopause brain moment. Gosh, I can't remember. But anyway, um, it feels really heavy. Uh, does it say what color it's in? Maybe when I open it, it'll say. But it's like IBC, I don't know, IBCC, NDC. Woke up like this foundation, flawless foundation, full coverage. Let's see what this looks like. Let's see what this looks comes in a really nice black. Ooh, this is a really nice bottle. Look at that. Really nice bottle. Um, there is no color on this though. Like, what is the color? I do not wait a minute, maybe it's on here. It was 539. Um doesn't have a color number. I'm sorry about that, but it does not. There's no color number at all on here. Oh, wait, here it is. 35, maybe, I think it says. I'm not sure. It looks really light, of course. The the cap... Oh, crap. Mm, look at the... What is this supposed to look like that? Hold on. I need to... I need to... Uh, the cap looks like it's coming off. I need to shake it because it's separated. I don't know if you pull the cap off or if, oh, but I don't know. It's kind of a mess. Look at the applicator. Do you even see it? See the applicator? Mm, I don't know. I'm scared. The color's not bad, though. Oh, gosh. I just don't know because it seemed like it, it seems like it was open. Like the cap doesn't meet the top, but that's the color. It actually matches pretty daggone well. Look at that. Like you can't even barely see it on my skin right there. Hmm. Yeah, I actually like that color. I'm going to try that tomorrow and see how it wears. But yeah, it looks like it looks like the color number says 35. So I'm not sure, but I will link everything down below. So yeah, but it's called like woke up like this. Um it's definitely a dupe for something. But see, it's already changing color on my skin, so I don't know. It looks a little Looks like it's oranging up or pink. I don't know. It just, it's got like a kind of a weird, I don't know. We'll see. I, I might try it just to see what it does on my skin because that's the other thing is sometimes with foundations, they just, once you put them on, they, they change color. They oxidize and then you're like, what happened? So I don't know. We'll see. 
We'll see what it looks like once it sits on my skin for a while. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not, I'm just don't have the best of luck with Timu foundations. Okay, this looks like a little necklace. It was $1.79. Let's see what it looks like. It's got some pearls on it. Come on. It's very, very... I'm going to say it. I'm just going to say it. It's pretty cheaply made. I'll just say that. I'll just say that. And it's... It is... <laughs> it's really jumbled up. Super jumbled up. Um, it looks like it was... Okay, I think I have it. It's like three layers, but... Okay, there it goes, kind of. See how it's like three layers? Very, very cheap chains, though. Like... The chains are just super cheap. The pearls are super cheap. I, I'm going to be honest. I would not recommend this. There's so many other nicer necklaces for this. $1.79. I mean, it might look pretty, but mm, I don't know. I'm just going to not recommend this to you. Okay? I wouldn't get it. Just because, just based off the, I mean, if you like it, then that's fine. But just know that for $1.79, I mean, look at the chain, like, look at the chain in there. It's just very, like, bubble, bubble gum shop type of necklace. Let's just say that. Okay, so this one was $2.78. It's a necklace as well. Um, it is in the color gray. This is a statement necklace. Us 90, 90s girls, we love our statement necklaces, don't we? I think that's what this is, yeah. Oh, gosh. Wow, it's long. So this is very, very long. And it's literally just like a series of, there's like this leathery gray piece. It's like circles, silvery circles. And then you get those pieces, but it's long. I mean, you could always, you know, you could shorten this up and wear it short, but I actually kind of like this. I actually kind of like that. I mean, it's super long, which I love a long necklace. It makes it kind of elongates your body. So 278 for that. Really pretty. It's just pieces of like le you know faux leather and then some silver, silvery pieces. I like it. It's cute. I do like that. Okay. Next, another cross bracelet. So let's take these bracelets off. This one was a dollar ninety three, and I think pretty sure I bought this before. Um, so might put this one in a give. Actually, I'm gonna put it in my giveaway that I'm going right now. By the way, if you haven't got entered, go back to my swap with Laura and that video is a giveaway video so go on that video comment swap and you'll be entered to win my 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 gift to you so I'm gonna put this in there it's a cross bracelet and it's the stones on it are like a almost like a leopard with like gold so yeah I'm gonna put this right back in the package right back in the package and I'm gonna put it in that giveaway so I'm gonna put it right down in here that's my packages down there, so that will go in the giveaway, because I know I have more than one of those. Okay, next are some eyeshadow brushes. Um, Timu has some great makeup brushes. These are all for eyeshadow. They were $238. Um, it's a, the black set. I think it came in different colors, but you get several, several brushes. Um, let's see how many are in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 pieces for 238. That's pretty daggone good. And the, and you've got some really nice brushes in here. This one, I love using stuff like this for eyeliner or for brows. You got like shorter dense brushes and the brushes feel really nice. You've got bigger fluffier brushes to blend with. Yeah, these are really nice. These are really nice. Very nice. Here's a really short dense brush. There's a couple of these that, that, that could be eyeliner. Yeah, these are really nice, guys. For two $2.38 for 10 brushes. Yeah, you can't beat that. Can't beat that. Cannot beat it. So highly recommend those. They feel really good. Okay, this was $1.20. No, I'm sorry, $1.34. It says color number one. That's probably makeup. Uh, it says fit colors peel off lip tint. Oh, boy. Peel off lip tint. Okay. Let's open it up and see what it's about. I'm pretty sure it's color number 01. I have chapstick on, so I don't know if we can do this, but let's see what it looks like. Oh, gosh. Oh, look at that. I had super... What in the world was happening? Oh, I think... 
I think Erin has this. And she put it on and it changed color. Let's do it. But it says peel off lip tint. I'm scared. Oh gosh. I think this is a fail. Okay, so this is peel and reveal your lip color. It's supposed to change colors. There's there's no way this is peeling off. There's no peeling to this at all. Off manually. But I'm not getting any color at all. Like <laughs> uh, Oh, it is kind of peeling. Barely, but that's that's all the color I got. Now, it says if you leave it on longer, you get more of an intense color. So I don't know, maybe if my lips were like super dry and I didn't have chapstick on, I feel like I look like I've been eating a popsicle. You know what I'm saying? I mean, mm, I don't know. I don't really like that. I don't really like it. I mean, like I said, maybe if I would have had, maybe if my lips would have been like super dry or something. I'm not sure. I don't know. That's kind of an iffy product there. Not real sure about that. Okay, this is just a pen, I think. 23 cent pen. I must have got like, I must have had some like bargains and I'm like, yeah, I can, I'll, I'll take a pen for 23 cents. Sure, why not? You know, like, you know, sometimes like a lightning deal will pop up and you'll be like, oh, 23 cents. It's just a, literally just a pen for 23 cents. Okay, Jen, I don't know what I was thinking with that. Okay, next is another thank you card. These were like 51 cents, so I guess that's why I got them, but at least this one doesn't have a spot on it anywhere, so I could actually probably use it. But you know how Timu, when they ship stuff, it gets all crunched up in the bag, so like down here is like, looks janky, and I would never send out a card that looks janky, so might have to use that in like junk journaling. Okay, next is this thing right here. Teapot, it says, for $3.07. Let's see what's in here. $3.07. Okay, I don't know why it says teapot. Okay, I don't know. It's just a it's just a glass jar. I've gotten these before. You put the little spoon in it. This one was $3.07. So yeah. Maybe I'll put like hot cocoa or something in it or marshmallows or, you know, instant coffee, instant hot cocoa. Yeah, I like that. I mean, for three bucks, I'm just glad it's not broke. So yeah, $3.07 and you get this nice lid and it's really tight. And then you get the little spoon too. So that's super cute. These are, these will be super cute to put out on your counter. Oh my gosh. These are so stinking adorable. I know I bought more than one of these. I might have to send one. I might have, if I have more, I'm going to put these in friend mail. It's a little tiny journal. It was $5.81. These are stinking cute. Okay. $5.81 for this. You get like these little, you get like a little thing to put on the side. Like there's like a little coin part right here. Or I don't know what you want to call this. A little doodad of sorts. It says Libra on it. So I guess I'll have to find... Yeah, there's actually a... The Libra sign's on it. I would have to find a Libra if I wanted to keep that, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, it's a little wee tiny journal. Check this out. Like, if you want to do little tiny mixed media or little tiny journaling, look how stinking cute it is. Look how stinking cute. It's just got plain paper on the inside... Uh, these are adorable. Five eighty one. The the outside is like a uh, faux leather. It feels really really nice, and then the inside like it feels like leather on the inside. But I think it's so stinking cute. So yeah, I don't know where this is supposed to go, or you maybe you don't have to use it at all. I mean, I wouldn't use it at all. You could always put whatever you want on these. But they're how cute are they? Five eighty one for those. I like those. Super cute. Okay. Uh, this is like. I thought I could hang my bras or belts off of this in the closet, so it was only 21 cents. I mean, you can't go wrong for 21 cents, right? 21 cents for this thing. I thought, what do I have to lose? 
Um, so you get comes in two pieces like this. This just goes down in here or goes. And then you put that, you know, you hang it up and then you hang stuff off of here and it twists around. So like bras, scarves, necklaces, you know, ties, whatever. But yeah, 21 cents. Heck yeah. That's an old school Timu price there. Okay, and then I got these nails. They were $1.98. How cute are those for like summer? Oh my gosh. I love the turquoise and the blue and the white. So pretty. Let's see if I can get you a better view of these. Adorable. And they're like in an almond kind of shape, but like short. How cute are those? I love those. So yeah, $1.98 for those. I get all my nails off Timu. This is a heart set that I got. The cat eye heart set a while back. I love these. They're a little bit long for me at work. I mean, through the week, I have I, I do a lot of typing through the week. So this is actually what I would consider long <laughs> for work. But they're really pretty on, like really pretty. Okay. Anyway, next up. Oh, I got another one of those. So I got two of those. They were 21 cents each. So there's another one of those. And then, oh, okay. This is so funny that this bracelet is coming up. $2.69. I got hauling it with Mima one of these. And it was in her haul. And everybody asked for the link. So this is what the bracelet looks like. I'm going to put it in my giveaway that I'm doing. So if you want, you know, a chance to get this and all of the other stuff, go to my um, swap video with favorites with Laura. I'll link it down below too. It's a really pretty bracelet. And what I like about it is that this, this snap right here, it's it's magnetic. It's a magnetic snap. Just like that. So easy to put on. So I'm going to put that back in the package here. And I'm going to put that in my giveaway. So that'll go in the giveaway package. Okay. Uh, here's another one of those cute little journals. This one says optimistic on the coin. This one was $4.94. I think Gigi would love these. So there's a little coin in this one, like the little coin thing. But this one says optimistic and it says, oh, it says Sagittarius. Okay, that is so funny that these, I don't know why those are with these, but okay. But how cute are, is the outside of this one? It's like leather and it's embossed. Really cute. Really pretty little journal. Put in your pocket, you know, if I can get it open. It's the same as the other one. The inside, it's like a fake leather, and then you've got all these little pages, and you can change out these books, these booklets. But yeah, how stinking cute is that? And look at the outside. I mean, that is really pretty. Really pretty. I absolutely love that. Love it. And it was less than five bucks. So yeah, it was $4.94 for that one. Okay, another eyeshadow brush. This was $0.79. Cents. I have so many makeup brushes now from Timu. I love their brushes. So yeah, this one was 79 cents. It's a dual ended brush. So you've got this end and then this end. Very nice. They feel really nice. Very pretty eye, eye brush. You can use it. Actually, you could use this for maybe concealer too to blend in. So yeah, I really like that brush. 79 cents. It feels really, really nice. Okay, a package of package. This was 339. Now I have a note on here that it's sold out. So whether that's still the case right now or not, I don't know. But it was $3.39. And you get three little, like, greeneries. So they equal out about a buck, ten a piece. And, of course, they need floofed and zhuzhed a little bit. But how cute are they? How cute are these? So you get the three pieces. They're on, like, a burlap. And then you get the greenery. How cute like just to sit on a shelf. I'm, I think I'm going to put them in my kitchen window, just add a little oomph right there. But they're very light because this is like styrofoam in here. But how cute are they? Super cute for three bucks. Heck yeah, three dollars. But like I said, they were sold out when I did the pricing. So I don't know if they still are or not, but check the link um, or I'll let you know down below. Okay, guys, a couple more items and then we'll be done. If you're if you if you're with me this long, thank you. <laughs> okay, here's another little another one of those little journals. This one was also five eighty one. And what's the coin on this one say? Sagittarius again. I don't know why those coins are related to signs, but it's just a brown journal. Nothing special about it. Same as the other two, only not embossed. But yeah, that one was five eighty one. Those are so cute. 
Okay, and I don't know why I bought these, but I got three craft envelopes, and they were 27 cents each. Not sure why I did that. Maybe I was going to use them in junk journaling or something. So, yeah. I don't know. They're, it's just literally an envelope. There's nothing else in here but an envelope. Maybe I've... Every time I see, like, oh, 27 cents, I'm going to buy that. Okay, then I got this. I have no idea what this is. It was 26 cents. I think that's what my writing says. It looks like some kind of a tool maybe you put on your keychain. Gosh, I can't get the dang thing open. Okay, 26 cents. <laughs> Is this turn? Is this twist? What does this thing do? Oh, okay. It, it's a little screwdriver. And there's a little... There's a Philip, wee tiny little, like, for glasses or something. Or your watch. There's a Phillips head on one end and a straight on the other end. And it's just like a little... I mean, these are tiny, tiny, tiny. Look at that. Look at that thing. So yeah, this would be good for like your watches or your eyeglasses or something like that. Because my glasses are always like kind of loosening up. So yeah, 26 cents for that though. Heck yeah. Okay, last but not least, I got this for free. I do not know how. Um, not sure. Maybe it was a spin the wheel. Maybe it was a circle, Timu circle gift. But it is a solar panel for like if you want to charge your phone or whatever and it's literally just a big solar panel i'll show you look at it it's a big solar panel and right here you can like plug something in it's a it's a usb right here so if you go fishing or camping or whatever take your charger cord for your phone or your lantern or whatever and it comes with these little carabiners or whatever they're called and then it has some suction cups too for some reason i guess i guess if you want to suction cup it to the outside of your like vehicle maybe when you're camping or who knows i don't know but yeah it's just like a solar panel how cool is that but you can charge up a lot of different things like they have a computer on here cell phone you know all kind of things like see right there I don't know if you can tell, but it says 21 watts of solar panel charger built in 10,000 megahertz battery. I think that's what that says. So, yeah, I'm going to try it out. So, yeah, I'll let you guys know if this works, because if it works, like you're sitting out by the pool or something and you can't charge your, you know, plug your phone in, just take your solar panel. I thought that was pretty cool. Like, that's a pretty nifty thing if it works. So, Hopefully it works. <laughs> like I said, I will let you know, but you just plug a USB in there and yeah, so we will find out. I thought, well, for free, what do I have to lose, right? Not my, not, not a daggone thing. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like Timu hauls, please subscribe, give me a like, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.